Well, ho. what is up, guys? Welcome back. Pokemon Stadium 1. Last time, we uh, defeated Erika in the Gym Leader Castle in round 1. This time, we're going up against Koga. Let's do this. So, as always, we're going to take our registered team here of our freaking guys from Blue Kaizo. And we'll start off here with the first trainer. It is a biker. This guy's gonna... He's got a pretty decent team for the first trainer. So, that's... Uh, it's kind of scary. He does have a lot of guys. So I think we'll lead off with the guy that will end up leading off with Koga, and I'll switch it around for the middle two trainers. We'll see how that goes. So he says the guy, the announcer guy, is like, yo, this is the first trainer. An easy victory should be possible. So let's hope that that's what happens here. I unfortunately am slower, but he's going to actually call back Ditto. I don't really understand. And he's gonna send out Zingwe. That's uh that's an interesting name there. It looks like that he does that with all his names. But anyway, we're gonna hit that thing with a psychic. And it's gonna live. That kinda surprises me. Uh okay. So he changes Pokemon again, and we hit that Ditto with a huge amount of damage. It's a revolving door of Pokemon indeed. It sends out Venonat now. This is really stupid. I don't even understand what's happening. And Venonat is going to go down. I didn't realize how huge Venonat was. By the way, I like this gym. This gym looks really cool. It's got like the poison just like seeping from the outside there. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Anyway, he sends in Ditto again. Let's see what happens here. Whoa, it actually does not switch out. And uh, I'm somehow faster than that Ditto. Ditto has like one of the worst stat pools. In fact, I think in the first generation, Ditto actually has the worst stats of any Pokemon in the game, so take that what you will. And when I say stats, I mean total base stat, all, all you know, HP through speed added up. So, anyway, it's got his last Pokemon here of Weezing. And he's actually going to get an attack off here. He's going to get a T-Bolt off. And that's going to do a decent chunk. Weezing does not have the best special in the game. It is a defensive wall, not a special wall. So that thing will definitely go down. And uh, that's going to just about do it with this first guy. I don't understand what he was trying to do. I don't even think this is the juggler, which doesn't make any sense. Because, you know, if it was the juggler... Yeah, it's a biker. If it was a juggler, I'd understand him switching Pokemon a bunch. But I don't even know what to say about that. Anyway, we're moving on to a tamer here. He's got his whip and lollipop. Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't even know. If, but it looks like a lollipop, doesn't it? In his, little, in his left hand there. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I make jokes. That's what I try and do. I think I'm funny. I try to be funny. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to this next guy here. He's going to send out Machoke, and I'm leading with... Uh, who am I leading? I'm leading with Arcanine. We're going to go all strategic here. And set up a reflect like a, a boss. So uh, that's a good play on my part. It goes for Karate Chop. He does score a critical, so that kind of nullifies the reflect, I think. Maybe it doesn't, though, because that only did a little bit of damage. I know it is a normal type move, but still. I think that would have done more. Oh, what? Come on. He scores another critical there. And uh, that kind of sucks balls. So this guy puts the first two letters of the Pokemon's name at the end. So this is a Chokma. And that's going to do a decent chunk. He's going to continue to Karate Chop me. And yeah, that crit definitely does matter. Because if that thing hits me without the uh, critical, 
Yeah, that just that does not do anything. So let's see if I take damage here. I'm at 216. Well, I knock him out, and the battle triggers him switching Pokemon, so I don't get hit by recoil. So that is completely overpowered. And so that is definitely something changed from the regular game. When you're in the red and blue, you definitely do take recoil uh, regardless. I think also in this game, if you hyper beam, and even if you take the guy out, you still have to recharge on the next turn. Anyway, there goes Ivysaur. And that thing is just dead as hell. And uh, Arcanine is looking like a boss here. It's going to send in Scyther. And uh, that is not that is not good for him because we're just gonna keep fire blasting. And I've already missed one, so I'm assuming I'm gonna hit, and of course I do. And that is definitely gonna bring down that scyther, and just like that, we're halfway to being done with this gym. Of course, we've got the two easy trainers out of the way. We've got two difficult ones coming up. I'm assuming the juggler is gonna have some psychic types. So, yeah. We'll see. Maybe future Germ Trainer 3. So he definitely does have psychic types. In fact, his entire team is psychic types. So that kind of blows. So I'm going to go with these three. We'll see how this goes. This could be a difficult battle here. This is probably harder than the gym leader, to be honest. So he's going to lead with Mr. Mime, who has the funniest game cry. I don't even understand. It's like a train or something. It's like... If you could hear that, which you can't, but that's okay. It's okay. Anyway, we're going to double-edge this Mr. Mime. And that's going to hit for a huge amount of damage. Unfortunately, I do take recoil there, but it's okay. He's going to mimic. And uh, it's going to go ahead and learn Fire Blast there. And I don't really give a fuck. And we might as well double edge it here, and we're not going to take any recoil, which is sweet. Yeah. And uh, there's no way that Mr. Mime's going to be able to take two double edges. You know, it's funny, I always picked up Mr. Mime in my uh, original, when I originally got red. You know, because I, I couldn't get through the dark cave. Keep in mind, I was like seven or ten or something. I don't even know how old I was, but you know, and I, I was just—I was—I always, I always. Uh, <laughs> this guy learns dig anyway. I—I uh, I always. Yeah, I couldn't get through the dark cave, so I was like, "Man, I gotta go get Flash," but I—I I don't know where it is, because you know, and I just explored around and eventually finally found my way over there. And, uh, it just, you know, I, I was like, whoa, this guy wants an Abra. All right, well, I've seen them up there, you know, above Cerulean. I'll go, I'll go try and catch one. And, of course, you know, it took me forever because they always teleported away, which is annoying. But I finally caught one. I was like, all right, let's go see what this Pokemon is. And Mr. Mime was always on my team because Mr. Mime was just so good. Only now do I realize that Mr. Mime was pretty terrible, you know, because he could learn Substitute, which was, like, crazy. Holy shit. That did, like, nothing. Did you see how little damage that did? That literally did nothing. I don't know how Psy Wave works in this generation. I know it, it's different in other generations. And Hypno goes down. Hypno doesn't look like a pedophile in this game. I know in, like, almost every fucking handheld game, his sprite always looks, like, terrible. The sprite doesn't look too bad in this game. Anyway, it's got a drowsy. So he's using three of, of course, pure psychic types, which is not annoying at all. And, uh, we'll go ahead and take this drowsy. I don't think this fire lasts with one shot, sadly. And, uh, we do burn it, and it's about half. So that's good. It's gonna mimic. They all of his Pokemon know mimic. And uh, that's cool or whatever. And uh, I'm just going to hit that thing with a double edge. 
I'm not sure if it'll take it out. I'm really hoping it does, because I don't have to wait another turn, because it's going to dig. And it does, in fact, take it out. Double Edge is really powerful, like 120 power. And with the ability to exploit it and the fact that you don't take recoil if you knock him out, that's that's going to make Arcanine huge. And, I mean, Arcanine does have one of the highest base stats in the game because it was originally intended uh, to be a legendary Pokemon. I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, it was originally supposed to be Zapdos, Moltre, or no, Zapdos, Articuno, and Arcanine. But uh, at the last minute, they decided, yo, this is, this is going to be weird if we have, uh, you know two birds and one land creature, so they created Moltres to uh, fix that. And that's why, that's another reason uh, Arcanine's uh, Pokedex thing is legendary. So anyway, here we go against uh, Koga. Oh, Jesus. So he's leading with Weezing. That's uh, his star Pokemon in the Pokemon game, so that's I, you know, I see why he's doing that, and that's cool. This is in indeed a furious battle, I agree. So anyway, we go for the Amnesia there, get that up a little bit. He's going to go for Sludge this turn. He figures that it's going to do more damage than Thunderbolt. And it probably would have. Probably does, rather. And uh, we hit that thing with a Psychic with a plus two special. There is no way that Weezing is going to be able to live that. And uh, there you go. one nothing already. Billy is looking good. I don't even think he knows what's happening right now, but he's still he's doing a, he's doing work. And uh, Nid Arena is going to come in now, and uh, we're going to keep the uh, theme going here. And we're just going to psychic the shit out of that. It is going to be faster here, so it is going to toxic me. And uh, Billy is like, "Ouch! This I don't like this." And uh, that psychic is going to do a huge amount of damage. So that thing is just dead as hell. And now his last Pokemon is Venomoth, another Pokemon that he uses from the game. So uh, the only Pokemon that didn't come in here was uh, Coughing. Wait, who did he just send in? I don't even know. Oh, it was Nidorina. That's right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Anyway, it hits me with something that does like no damage. And that's cool, because I'm just going to Psychic that thing. And as you can see, Billy is incredibly powerful after one Amnesia. Unfortunately, it takes three Amnesias for his special to be at 999. Mewtwo, it only takes two Amnesias. But we'll, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Anyway, that is gonna do it for Koga. And the future gym. So next time, we're gonna have to go up against the hardest gym. At least in my opinion. The Psychic Gym. So uh, there you go, Future Gym clear, and we're going to get the key from Koga, and we're going to open Sabrina's Tower. Sabrina looks already amazing. Look at that little sprite down there. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we'll take on Sabrina and her three trainers. She has a cue ball for some reason. That guy looks like a bouncer. He looks like a casino boss. She's also got a burglar in her place, too, and then she's got like a, like a medium. I don't even know. Anyway... <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode. See you guys next time.